You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. (sighs) (laughs) You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? Now that Max skipped town, She's our only lead left. No. But she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. How do these bird washing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Are you questioning my victory? Miranda, I would never. But I do wonder about the other guys. There's an honor code among birders. I've been competing since I was 12, and I've never seen it broken. 12? Wow. So this win is a big deal for you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Your face, Ryan Lucan. I'm Birder of the Year, and your reign is finished. Uh Uh-oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. What am I going to do with a jacket that says Hell Divers on the back? Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are going to do. You think I want to broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. Jed's crew really loved him. No surprise there. Love you, Gabe. Steph and Ryan, the newest inductees. Gabe would be proud. I wish Riley never found out about my condition. She needs to focus on her future, not mine. Riley found out? I wonder what this means for them. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. 
I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Hey, is everything okay with you and Riley? For the most part. She's pushing herself too hard helping me. I just want her to focus on her own life now. Let me know what I can do. You've done so much already. I'm grateful, Alex. I feel terrible for Eleanor. And I don't think it's getting any easier. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? I better do some cleanup before my shift is over. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar? How's it going? We have some ideas that are gonna blow your mind. Well, let's not get ahead of it. Blow your mind. <laughs> Can't wait. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past. Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet, thanks. Hey boss, do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh hell, like brother like sister, huh? Fine, guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. Now Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. All right, let's hear this infamous song. Alabaster Daydreams, that's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. One small victory that no one will ever know about. I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh, well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that, thanks. Trust me. You're not alone. I 
think our chat actually helped. check in with Steph and Ryan. It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky, is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. Poor Ducky. I wonder what's going on. So, I started Dust in Daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Wait. Holy shit. Seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good game. I'm... so glad you like it. I really do. Hey, getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey, yeah, trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll like it. I hope the LARP goes well. They deserve a little fun. If she's hiding something, I need to find out what it is. For Gabe. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up. Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. <sighs> now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. I'm genuinely worried that these were the best ideas you had. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. The only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> Let's 
Let's go with Ryan. This Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just going to try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? I know Typhon's responsible for my brother's death. I don't know how, and I don't know why yet, but I will find out. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I'm sick of the lies and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. She's pissed. If I can stoke her anger at Typhon, maybe I can find out more. Ethan's a great artist, isn't he? He sure is. <sighs> Integrity to our very core. What? Oh, yeah, that's our motto. It, it's a motto. Is that your niece and nephew? They must be proud to have a super powered businesswoman for an aunt. I suppose they do look up to me. I try to be the best role model I can. Do you belong to a church around here? Hmm? Oh, no. Honestly, I'm sort of lapsed with all that. I do miss it, though. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right, that's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's anger about Typhon. to find out what Diane is really hiding. Does it fall within the tolerable limit? Well, as I say in the report, 
there's a small chance that debris from the detonation could... It's a simple question. It falls within the tolerable limits. Typhon brought me here. And look where it got me. Damn them all. Wait. There's something else. I didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder. If they try to pin this on me, I'll have everything I need to fight back. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Ryan, what's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Alone in the mountains with this handsome fella? Sounds like a date. How long have you been planning this, you devil? Oh, uh, well, to be honest, I've been wanting to ask you ever since you showed up in Haven. Truth be told. So, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. You guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh, my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley, see if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? H how can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and... Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions.
Stuff was right. These chicks rock. Every time I listen to this record, it takes me right back to that moment with Gabe. Of course I'm investing all my tips into expanding my record collection. Sometimes it's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. But if there is a seam somewhere, I see it most in Steph and Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place. And I can watch the scene unfold, like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or, if I choose instead, I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. Okay, let me grab my hat. I didn't even know what to say when Charlotte gave this to me. How do you even respond to such a perfect gift? I'm really glad my advice helped. A dire rat joined your party. Wow, Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. I wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Steph, I will murder you. We're one step closer now. There it is. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe.
I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. I was hoping to find some pirate treasure, but I guess my hat will do. This feather separates the buskers from the bards. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Like, cheering up, or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Steph's been planning this for days and days. She really cares about you. I do want to do this. It's just... Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so... Sad. Cause I'm like bummed out. But I can't just pretend. I thought pretending was the whole idea of this thing. Acting like you're someone else just for a little bit. I guess. The crazy thing is, sometimes, pretending you're having fun can trick you into actually having fun. Couldn't hurt to try. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the Monster Slayer! Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. 
The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go, now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. This is kind of exciting. Alex really saved the day. Gabe would be proud. Thanks, Jed. Please, find the three jewels. Time is of the essence. Right. We're on it. Gotta say, Jed's king voice is pretty convincing. How do we know where to look? I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Oh. Is that a scroll of paper? What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome. We should find as many as we can. Wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. next attack. One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Let's keep going! What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. I should probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person. Huh. Did Ethan drop this? I swung over the top ones. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. I dare you. Look like 
Dude's such a goofball. So much for being hot. Hot and goofball are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> At least in my book. Sorry, Ryan. It was self-defense. Did we really just kill a dire wolf? What did you think of that fight? It was definitely harder than I thought. Yeah, same. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. It's cute, right? Peach ice cream cake? I don't know. I want something people can't stop talking about. I want every kid ordering one for their birthday. <sighs> then let's keep trying. Well, now, who do we have here? Thanor the Monster Slayer. And my bard. And what you up to, Thanor? Saving your lives? There's monsters out there. Orcs and minotaurs and such. Be careful. Sounds dangerous. How about a dragon? With a... Candy treasure hoard, chocolate coins, sugar pearls, gummy jewels? Yes, I love that. Mint chocolate chip for the dragon, topped with fire cinnamon candies. I'd say you're on fire yourself. Found a scroll? Yeah. You'd have to be athletic to do that. <laughs> Whoa, go easy on me. Maybe you can teach me the finer points of craft beer. Oh my god, I came out here to have a good time, you little bully. Hey, hey, what's all this? Too busy to talk right now, sorry. Knock him dead? Back to his old self, thank God. What a great kid. Ethan's got a lot of people who care about him. So hey, kid. You responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? Whoa. There was a massacre? Better check it out. Got another scroll. Cool. <laughs> no, not a real massacre. Yeah, it's with props, like theater. Go get him, Ethan. No, Mom, it's a very safe time. I'm Thanor. Go get him. Cry numbers are Thanor. Time. Could there be something down the alley? This is boring. Why is my dead lover talking? We're lovers? Y yeah, that's what Steph said. Oh. Shh, they're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Just down the... yonder... alley. Near the river. Alas, alas. Wow. That actually felt really sad. Yeah, right? I would definitely miss you. 
if you were eaten. Beware of river monster. <laughs> Some kind of snake? I guess. have to fight it. Why wouldn't we? I feel bad for it. It's just living its life. Being a snake. It eats people. It's gonna attack. What do you want to do? Whatever. Let's just fight it. Bring it on, snake meat! Untuned cord. <clears throat> One damage. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> oh. Two damage. Untuned cord. <clears throat> One damage. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Venom. Ah! I'm poisoned. Ow. Poison damage. Untuned cord. <clears throat> One damage. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Two damage. Ow. Poison damage. Untuned cord. <clears throat> One damage. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> ah. Two damage. Ow! Poison damage. Untuned cord. <clears throat> One damage. <clears throat> Two damage. Let's make some ears bleed. Wait, what's that? It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. Are you bummed that we had to kill the snake? Nah, it's fine. Shit, that didn't take long. Okay, we handled the river serpent. Thank you, adventurers. But you should probably clean up that body. Oh there! I 
here you've dealt with the river serpent, huh? More than just talk, are you? Perhaps the magpie can help you on your quest. Step inside if your heart is true. Interesting. Bah! What a thankless life. Being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa. He's really into this. Everything okay? You seem pretty, um, grumpy. I've forgotten the damn components of sun silver. Don't suppose you know the composition. Um, if we find out, we'll tell you. I won't hold my breath. It's really sweet how many people Steph's roped into this. I'm guessing this is a fancy art gallery. Wait, no, a pet shop. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal! Come in. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. <laughs>